everyone welcome back welcome back to another stream how you doing how you doing let me know if the audio is good because <laughs> i i noticed on the last vod uh, that the microphone volume was like super low <laughs> so so just let me know if it's all good all right yeah, it's flat cocoa because I'm tired. I am sleepy. I, we've been having so much fucking heat around here. It's been like kind of a heat wave. And I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> I am so tired. Also, Sikotron, hello. Doing alright. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How you doing? How y'all doing? Hope you're all having a good old Tuesday night. Good old Tuesday night. <laughs> you followed me on Twitter. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you like the arts. I'm glad you like the drawings and whatnot. Muchas gracias. What happened? What happened to the TTS? <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Why is the avatar not moving? Ah, uh, did did it did at least did it did it at least uh, come through on the sound? Did you guys hear it, or was it just me that heard it? Why did this? You didn't hear it. You didn't hear it. God damn. Uh. Okay, let me close this. Let me close this. Let's open it again. Fucking <laughs> goddamn fucking TTS never works. <laughs> it never fucking works. It's awful. All right, it's been sent. Why is it using? It's like trying to read the audio from another device. All right, hopefully it works now. Let me test it out. Bug online poggers. Okay, it's working now. Great. Great. Ay, una disculpa que no hablas, si no hablas inglés, perdón. La verdad es que los streams los hago en inglés, más que nada porque la gran mayoría de la gente que me sigue habla inglés. <laughs> Perdón, no, no hago stream bilingüe. <laughs> Lo siento. <laughs> it's been 96 years since Stunner Pony made pony art. Stunner Pony is dead. Stunner Pony doesn't exist anymore. I buried him. I buried Stunner Pony. <laughs> well, at the very least, I'm glad. I'm glad you're you're understanding some of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know it. I know it's a bit bit scuffed. The model and chow so cute. Thank you. How you doing, Ratters? How you doing? Welcome. Been a while since I see you around here. It's all about Coco now. Exactly. It's all about Coco. It's all about Coco. You know, it's kind of like how. It's kind of like how Darth Vader killed Anakin, you know, in, in that same way. In that same way, I, I killed Stunner Pony. <laughs> Stunner Pony is no more. <laughs> but I will still draw ponies every now and then. Every now and then, when people ask me to, I will. You know, it's not like, it's not like I'm against doing it. Also, are you guys enjoying the, the fucking Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog background <laughs> and music? <laughs> I, I, I love this. I love that someone, someone actually ripped all of the backgrounds from the game. So now I have a scene where I can just change from all the, all the backgrounds. The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog game is fucking great. <laughs> Eh, I, I, no sé nada de tu proyecto, la verdad, pero creo que no es el momento para hablar de él. <laughs> so, 
party for large sums of money? Absolutely. Absolutely. Large sums of money always, always will tempt me to draw stuff. You know, just five dollars a month. Just five dollars. I'm giving you all free entertainment. <laughs> I wish I could say I do, but I'm stuck using audio only mode because my internet is trash, so I can't see it. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lincoln. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that there, I there were pay like you with exposure audio only mode. 15 smug. <laughs> paid with exposure? No. Oh, rip my fucking avatar got stuck there. There. Paid with exposure. Get out of here. Fucking get out of here. <laughs> Still, thank you, Sicko. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Always nice to see new people coming around, coming here in the streams. In the settings below for the resolutions along with chat only mode. I really had no idea. I really had no idea that there was like a, an audio only mode. That is, this is the first time I hear about it. It kind of does make sense though, like especially for streams like this one, where it's like super just like, you know, mostly audio. <laughs> it's like podcast, kind of podcasty sort of stream. Oh my god, the fucking joke there. <laughs> no, no, que mal pedo. This is the got you. <laughs> I was at work when you sent the pic. Too many people around me to pick it off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it was a bad time. I assume that you were kind of like busy or something, so I didn't, I didn't press on further, but I just kept on working on it. I may not be able to see what's going on, but at least I can hear it without constantly buffing, buffering, yeah. Yeah, it fucking sucks. I don't know why Twitch... I don't know, Twitch's video player is just really fucking bad. Like, it, it just is. And the fact that it lacks transcoding options for, for most streamers, because, like, only partner streamers get guaranteed the transcoding. Everyone else is kind of like... Uh, Oh, actually, no, it's not even everyone else. It's just affiliates are the ones that can get transcoding options whenever there's, like, uh, low enough traffic that Twitch decides to give it to you. So it's kind of, like, up in the air if you're gonna get some or not. And then if you're not even an affiliate, then you don't get transcoding options at all. I don't, I don't even think you can stream at 1080p if you're you're not affiliate. I think your your maximum resolution is 720p. So it kind of does suck. Kind of does suck. The video player is like really fucking bad, and I'm, I'm I'm impressed that they haven't been able to like make it better in the last like five years or so. I understand that Twitch is like bleeding money and not necessarily making any profit, but still, like, goddamn. The music's a bit loud. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it does jump around. It does jump around in volume a little bit. Especially because this fucking soundtrack is not on Spotify, so I have to, like, get it from a YouTube playlist. Lol. <laughs> this is so scuffed. This is so scuffed. Fucking just put, just put your fucking video game soundtracks on Spotify. Just got, put, just fucking put them there. Why is this why is this still a thing? <laughs> why are we still having to listen to video game soundtracks on YouTube for fuck's sake? <laughs> Actually I've never checked. Is this soundtrack on Spotify? I'm pretty sure it isn't, because I did search for it once, but like, I don't know, maybe they've put it down. They they did upload it? Yes, they did upload it now. Oh, that's great. 
That's great. So never mind. I can actually put it on Spotify. That's fucking good. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. It's better. Strawberry, hello. How you doing? Welcome. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hello, William. <laughs> hello. Always making an entrance. Also, I got rid of the... I got rid of the option to, like, throw shit at, at me. Like, throw, throw little 3D objects at me, because it was too taxing on my PC. It was lagging everything so bad. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm honestly just chilling, just chatting here. Just having a good old time. Because cause I'm tired. There's been a heat wave. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so just chatting here. I'm just sitting here. I'm chatting. And I'm drinking some iced tea. I enjoy the occasional video game music cover, but it doesn't hit well most cases. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Very EP hours. Always. I'm always EP. It's always EP hours with me. I was drawing before I came here. Oh, nice! I was actually doing the same. I, I finished drawing and then I then I go, went to take a shower and then I posted the drawing and then I started the stream. <laughs> have you found the perfect fitted bra? Sadly, no. I mean, I, I have one that's like uh, like make it, making the sports bras aside because I'm not counting those. Uh, I do have one that kind of does fit well, kind of does fit well enough, but no, I still have not found like one that actually fits really well. The the one that I that I have that kind of fits well, the problem that it has is like the the little pad the pads that it has are way too big for some reason, are way too fucking big. But if I take out the pads, then it works fine. Also, hello, Fluttershy. How you doing? Welcome. How you doing? <laughs> I love that the song is actually called Naming Barry. <laughs> like, you're, you're renaming Barry. I don't know. It's just funny that he, he has an actual name, but, like, you get to rename him. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just found it funny. Hopefully you can find a good size. Yeah, hopefully. Like, I know my size. Like, that's the thing. I know my size. I know how to measure myself. But, like, the problem is that there's no standard, like, sizes for for the manufacturing of them. So, like, every single brand does their own fucking measurements and shit. And, and they decide, like, oh, you know, a 38C is, like, this or that or something else. So, like, you can get two bras from two different brands that are both 38C and they will fit completely different. Which is fucking weird. I never, I never experienced anything like this before. <laughs> you know, when you go and buy a pair of jeans, you know, they're size 32 and that, and that's it. And that's all you need. It's like size 32 and every single brand does the same size 32 because we're just me measuring inches. And that's it. Like, at most, you will have, like, some problems with, like, how tight the fit of the of the legs is, but that's about it. Like, the waist is always the same size. Because it's standardized. But brows, apparently, are not. They're not standardized. I have no, I have no fucking idea what, what they're doing. How they're doing it. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah, we're talking about Coco's Coco. <laughs> the Coco's of Coco. Yes, we're talking about my Coco's. Because I was complaining on Twitter the other day that I cannot fucking find a bra a bra that fits properly. They don't they don't fucking they don't fucking make them the same size it's or anything. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Yeah, it's a fucking conspiracy. I swear. <laughs> what are we doing today? Honestly, just chatting. We're just chatting. We're just having a chill time. We're just hanging out. You know, just relaxing, just vibing here. 
because because the heat wave is fucking killing me. Cocos, cocos. <laughs> yes, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. We're talking about that. Hmm. Also, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like my hand actually hurts a little bit. I think I overdid it. I I spent like. I wanted to speed through making the drawing, like finishing the drawing. I wanted to finish it before the stream, and now my hand kind of hurts. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like leave it resting for a bit. Coco meme react. I mean, I, I mean, I'm I'm down for it, but like, where are we gonna find some memes? I'm not gonna open my TikTok. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you my TikTok. It's filled with like a bunch of a bunch of like very fucking inside the inside jokes we gotta donate to, you gotta donate the meme song no 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 i don't i don't i don't even have the setup for that <laughs> like there are ways to do it there are ways to do like media requests and whatnot but i i've never done that setup i'll start us off Oh my god, don't don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Cocomania reacts to oh no. I'm gonna become a react streamer. No. No. Please, please, I don't wanna be a react streamer. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what is this? God damn it, William. I'm assuming that was William because that, that was sent anonymously. Oh my God, William! Let's 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 see. Wait, wait, wait! God damn it! I need to change scene and everything. Uh, I gotta capture Firefox. All right, there it is. Earth Invasion starts at 8 a.m. My Gleeby DVS. <laughs> it's 7.99 a.m. What the fuck is 7.99 a.m.? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I rate it... Um, 3 out of 5 PPs. 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 PPs. Three out of five cocos. That that would work. That's the rating now. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> oh my god. But thank you for the donor. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. Is that it? Is that it? People are gonna start donating me to get around the fact that you cannot send links in my chat? <laughs> Is that what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna get donations so that people can send me fucking links? <laughs> Is that Paimon? That is so cute. That is such a cute emote. God, it's been a, it's been a fucking tiring week to be honest. Let's react to YouTube memes. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna pull up a fucking like YouTube meme compilation as if this is 2016. Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're we're turning back the clock. We're going back to 2016 to react to YouTube meme compilations. <laughs> we're gonna react to vines. <laughs> Pull up funny hits from 2012. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna look at rage comics. We're gonna look at troll comics from the fucking 2010s. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I remember, I remember there was a time in my life where I used to go to 9gag deliberately. Like I would actually go to the 9gag front page and I would just like scroll and, and see the memes. And I would actually laugh. I can't believe how fucking cringe I was. <laughs> 
to a sleep stream. I'm gonna just sleep. Yes, that's gonna be the stream. I'm gonna sleep for two hours. It's gonna be the stream. My god, I also went to bed like super fucking late yesterday. Well, tech, I, today, actually. I went to bed today at like 5 a.m. 5.30 a.m., something like that. So I was, I was experimenting in Minecraft. I was trying to design a fucking automatic like mining machine with redstone and shit. <laughs> so I haven't slept much. I haven't slept much today, to be honest. But it's fine, it's fine. We're just chilling. We're just chilling here today. Having a good old a good old chill time. Yes, I'm a nerd. I'm an absolute fucking nerd. I think we've lost all hours, soon hours. <laughs> we've lost, we've lost hours, soon hours of sleep thanks to Minecraft. <laughs> we've all lost hours of sleep thanks to Minecraft. Yes, definitely. We've all, we've all definitely been there, haven't we? Just, just playing Minecraft till fucking 5 a.m. You just, you just can't stop. You know, Minecraft has this quality where like. There's no, there's no checkpoint, I guess, in a way. I wanna, I wanna call it. You know, usually games have states where, like, you know, oh, you know, I'm gonna finish this level, and that's it. You know, oh, I'm gonna finish this quest, and that's it. You know, I'm gonna finish this thing, and then I'm gonna close the game and go to sleep. But Minecraft doesn't have that. Minecraft doesn't have any checkpoints that you can like rest at. <laughs> Minecraft doesn't have a point where you're done with the thing because every single thing that you want to do in Minecraft requires like five other things <laughs> You know you want to build a fucking giant building. Oh, but I need to set up a fucking iron farm and I need to set up uh, a fucking clay farm. Not girl having girl dinner of pizza lunchables playing girl Minecraft <laughs> for 26 hours <laughs> I was actually eating pizza yesterday so I can't even. I mean, God damn it! <laughs> I don't know what pizza lunchables are, but but I was I was having little Caesars yesterday. I was just playing Minecraft. Sharpay, hello. How you doing? You are the checkpoint. I am the checkpoint. I am the one who checkpoints. No, but for real, Minecraft doesn't doesn't have a point where you're say, you you can say, okay, I'm done with the thing, so I'm gonna go to bed now. It just keeps going, it just keeps keeps on going, forever and ever. So once you're done with your iron farm, it's like, okay, I have the iron farm, but now I need sand, you know. <laughs> and this is all like in preparation for like the the building that you want to make or something. <laughs> So you can you just keep on going you just keep on going and then and then it's 5 a.m. and you haven't slept and you've only eaten pizza and that's it <laughs> enjoying the week of college poggers all right it's like fucking semana santa like how the fuck do you guys how the fuck do you call it in english i have no idea but like <laughs> i don't even know if you if you guys have like a vacation this week for the same reason like but yes a lot of people have the have this week off not me though so i'm fucking some because i'm fucking freelance so i don't have vacations lamel you talk spanish i do i'm from mexico soy la ciudad de mexico hablo español <laughs> Lunchables is an American lunch snack from the 90s. I always had turkey, cheese, and cracker stackables. Ooh. Nice. I guess spring break. Yeah, that's the thing. Spring break. Thank you. It's on a different week, if I recall correctly. Oh, okay. So why, are, why do you have a week of college this week, then? 
If it's not spring break, then then why? British. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't have a British accent. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that <laughs> just, just, so, just so everyone is caught up. Uh, they, they said, uh, why does, why does everyone from Mexico seem English until they speak Spanish? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Or like American, okay, you, you're, you're saying more like, you know, English speaking as in like English or American or something like that. I don't know, I just, it's, it's, it's been kind of a snowball effect in which I started posting drawings in, in, on DeviantArt back in the fucking early 2010s. No, even, actually, even before that, I think it was like 2008 when I started posting on DeviantArt. And it was just like... It was just like uh, I just started posting in English, and then it just I, I kept on growing that way. So I was never part of the Latin American art communities that developed elsewhere, because <laughs> because Deviant Art was not really full of of Latin Americans. That was more places like Facebook and and whatnot. Uh, so, so I was never part of like the Latin American <laughs> community. So I ended up in a position where like most of my followers are are English speakers, and and that's why I do everything in English nowadays. Even though I live in Mexico and I speak Spanish, <laughs> so so that's why, that's that's the reason why. You look like Tommy in it for Sona. Ouch, ouch, that fucking hurts. That is actually, that is actually so mean. That is so mean. How could you say that to me? <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> also bald, hello, welcome. <laughs> Maybe it's the hair. I don't know why. I think they, I think they mostly meant that, the, you know, we speak English and we do everything in English and whatnot, and it doesn't seem like we're Mexican until we actually speak Spanish, Lamel. Do you think in Spanish or English? I actually end up thinking in English a lot of the times. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but it's it's often that I that I do like think to myself in English. You're from Spain? Oh, nice. I, I don't know shit about Portuguese. The, the one that knows Portuguese is my brother. My brother actually does know Portuguese, but that's because he went to Brazil for a while. He spent like a couple of months in Brazil, so he, he, he took like two years of fucking Duolingo Portuguese <laughs> before he went to his like big trip to Brazil. Brazil is cool. I've never been there, but he said it was really cool indeed. He was staying in Rio, so it's a like, pretty cool place, actually. It does seem pretty cool. I'm just fucking around. How dare you? How dare you, I say? How dare you say I look like Tommy in it? That is so fucking mean. <laughs> The worst part is like Tommy and it is also a Minecraft streamer, so like fuck. <laughs> the fucking the fucking Minecraft streamer allegations. <laughs> Started learning Portuguese from Duolingo too, but only because I love Brazilian funk and bossa nova. Oh nice. Just say in it the way he does got <laughs> No! He saw a go to Brazil meme and decided he had to <laughs> go to the game. Oh my god, you're sending more fucking links. <laughs> god damn it. Alright, let, let me let me see what this is. Let me let me see what the fuck this is. I, I closed my, my browser. Fuck, I Coco forgot about is Mexican this. Pewdiepie. 
I'm not making it. <laughs> what, what is this? What the fuck is this? What the what the actual fuck is this volume? <laughs> <laughs> this video is three hours long. Why is this video three hours long? What the fuck? <laughs> no! <laughs> and the quality is fucking awful. And it's edited in fucking Movie Maker. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeez Company. We're not watching a three hour video. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> MS Movie Maker, let's go. MS Mo Mo Microsoft Movie Maker. Microsoft Movie Maker was pretty lit, not gonna lie. It was pretty, it was pretty fucking cool. Cause, Cause you had all the Star Wars transitions. Don't I tea look yummy though? I, I do it do look yummy. I do like cheese. I do like me some cheese. I don't like the super strong cheese to be honest. Like the the one that people will have the ones the ones that people have with like just wine. You know, where they have like super strong cheese and they just like wash it down with like red wine. I don't like those cheeses. I don't like those. I, I like queso Oaxaca. I like Oaxaca cheese. That's really fucking good. That's my favorite. Super strong aged cheese is the best. No, I'm not 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 a fan. No, not a fan of the super strong aged cheese. You you outright don't like cheese, strawberry. Goddamn. I've never actually met anyone who doesn't like like at least one kind of cheese. Queso Oaxaca, let's go. Yes. El quesillo. El quesillo oaxaqueño. My favorite has to be burrata. Ooh, that's good as well, yeah. Had it once on pizza and could not find another place that has it. Yeah, like, I haven't had it much either, but it, it's good. The, the couple times that I've had it, it's good. Yes. It, it does... I, I think... I think it is Italian. It's like an Italian cheese or something like that. Because I remember having it at, at, at an Italian, like, Italian food place. Oh no, the fucking, like, stingy blue cheeses. Yeah, th those are, those are awful. Just, ju just like, being near them. They're fucking awful. Okay, I get that. I get that, Strawberry. But like the other, like other cheeses, like mozzarella or, you know, cheddar or, you know, just stuff like that. You know what I don't fucking like and I absolutely just fucking hate with a passion? Uh, American, like, yellow cheese. Hello, Coco. The American yellow cheese that they put on fucking hamburgers on McDonald's and shit. Ugh. Ugh. Absolutely fucking awful. I hate it. Ugh. <laughs> also, Bonds, hello. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome. I fucking, I fucking hate, like, yellow cheese, the American yellow cheese, it's so fucking bad, I hate it. it tastes like fucking plastic. <laughs> it's awful. It's great to use in lasagna. Oh, I love lasagna. Nothing like reheating lasagna made with five-year-old <laughs> cheese that leaves a wonderful fragrance in the work office. No! And having all your co-workers absolutely love you. God, I, I would fucking hate you so much. The American cheese is amazing and burgers take that back. No, like, cheese, other cheese is really good on, on burgers. But, like, the, the, the American... Craft yellow cheese, it, it fucking sucks. It's awful. It's the worst fucking cheese ever. I hate it. <laughs> I really do hate it. It's so fucking bad. And not not even necessarily the, the craft brand, but like anything that is like that one, I fucking hate them. I don't like them. They taste like plastic. <laughs> They're fucking awful. <laughs> But I do put cheese on hamburgers. I do put other cheese on hamburgers. 
like like what? My favorite cheese. cheese is the kind out of the milk carton if you leave it out for three oh, days. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! You. It's great A government cheese. It's fucking like military rationed. <laughs> great cheese. It's just terrible. Those are the best cheese for burgers and mac and cheese too. Okay, I'll I'll give it to you that it it's fine on mac and cheese. Sure, it's fine there. And even then, is like I I usually prefer to do mac and cheese with with other cheese. But like, fine, I'll I'll give it to you there on mac and cheese. But like usually, just like the fucking those yellow rectangles the fucking suck. Director. I can't. I can't do. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm 2D. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck in two dimensions. I cannot like flip around or anything. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I I have an idea. I have an idea. There, there's there may be a way. Look. Wow. I I I did a, I did a spin now. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> Hello, Kiki. How you doing? Cheddar is great. Cheddar is great. Yes. Regular American cheese is bleh. Absolutely. You're so right. <laughs> Absolute fucking mad lad. Gonna go play with friends? Oh, no worries. Have a good time, Blutter. Have a good time, Blutter. No worries. My God, William. <laughs> you're just. You're I never just knew much scared. about cheese except the basic stuff. Lately, I've been walked by the cheese canter at the store and they got, like, smoked goat, salted feta, Greeks, blueberry aged chew, polished spiced finish, coated wrapped new car zest jungle with a hint of rosemary. God damn. I almost understood half of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just being mean, but like I I don't know much about cheeses either. Okay, let, let's check out what what the fuck did you send, William? What is this? Kitty, what are you doing out here? Did I not see you before? Oh, you're so Portuguese. <laughs> what? What? You're so Portuguese. <laughs> What does that even mean? What does it mean, Mark? Was that a racism? <laughs> you said the car, the can looked Portuguese. Why? <laughs> oh, thank you, Strawberry. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like my setup. It's, it's like it took a while. Took a while to get it to get it all working. <laughs> And even then it's like super scuffed. The the TTS fucking breaks half of the time. <laughs> the TTS just constantly breaks and my notifications just don't work sometimes. And like fucking chat just just doesn't Mark's register messages. Just milking it Coca-Cola 15 smug. Mark's just milking it. Oh no. <laughs> the fuck th that fucking picture and th that fucking like clip of Markiplier going like I can milk you. Is it, it will live forever, rent-free in my head. Kiki, are you going to play Honkai Star Rail now? Are you gonna start playing Honkai Star Rail for the Husbandos? You still have not played Genshin. You have to play Genshin sometime. Think about Ito. Think about Ito. So we're we just suggesting clips for Coco to watch. Not really. It's only William doing it. <laughs> William is using the fact that the, the donations don't have a filter for links to send links through those. Because I I have the you can't send lin links on chat. You cannot send links in chat. So Will William is just like skirting around the rules. No, I already play one gacha game with how bad does I don't need one. But you can play more than one. You're gonna have more husbandos. Think about it. Honestly, to be honest, I haven't even played Genshin in a while. Kiki still go for weeb games. Fire Emblem is also fucking weeb. That's the gacha that she's playing. She's played Fire Emblem gacha game. That is also weeb. 
That is all some weeb shit. <laughs> you don't hit if you could. Oh, no worries. No worries, Strawberry. It's fine. You need to play Genshin, Kiki. It's like Breath of the Wild, but better. <laughs> Blame Nintendo. No! Stop! Stop! Don't give money to Nintendo. They don't deserve it. They... Sh they, they <laughs> yes, it's better, because you have those Mandos. Like many of them. And Sidon it doesn't exist. Sidon doesn't exist in Genshin Impact, so that immediately makes it makes Genshin Impact better than Breath of the Wild. Like just just by default. <laughs> I'm not playing bad rats. I swear I, I swear someone fucking sent it to me in my fuck and, and it's like on my Steam library when that meme was going around. Reminds me, I downloaded Fire Emblem meums ago, got a big booby <laughs> lady and never played it again. <laughs> he was Zidon true, true. Yeah, see? See? Like, Zidon not being in Genshin Impact already makes Genshin Impact just like superior. <laughs> also, Venti. Venti is in Genshin Impact. So, like, you know, instead of having Link dress as a fanboy, like, you know, like a quarter of the game you actually get to have like a proper fanboy that's always a fanboy and he's super cute and i love him and he's green he's a green boy and i like green <laughs> <laughs> i like Ita the werewolf guy <laughs> yeah the, the worcestershire or something I, I i forget his name he's got a weird ass name like Worcestershire or something like that. <laughs> He's like the sauce. Just waiting for Sandless Zone Zero for the fluffy wolf husband. Oh yeah, that lo that one actually looks fun. That one actually looks interesting. I do want to give that one a shot. Oh no way! I I like more husbandos from Genshin. <laughs> You do. You do like a bunch of us bandits from Genshin. I will keep sending them to you. I'm pretty sure you would also like uh, a Thoma. Thoma as well. Like, he's, he's not a big, strong boy. Like, the ones that you usually like. But, uh, he's also an, an Oni. Like, like Ito. Like, look at him. Look at this boy. He's hella cute. He's hella, he's hella pretty and cute. And he he got little horns. Little, little like, like fucking demon horns or something. He do cute. But the new cowboy guy, the new cowboy guy, the new cowboy guy is from Honkai Star Rail. I have not played that one, to be honest, so I can't even say whether or not it's good or not. <laughs> right in the really Imagine someone yelling out, "Oh no, he's hot!" <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> he is hot. He is hot. And he's like really helpful actually when you get to meet him on like a bunch of characters in Genshin. Hmm? <laughs> Genshin and Genshin has this bad habit of introducing a bunch of characters in the most fucking annoying way possible. Where like they're not usually helpful and you have to do everything for them. Because they're they're fucking dumb, apparently. <laughs> they're just incompetent and they can't do shit. <laughs> Thoma Thoma is the other way around. Thoma is the one helping you out the entire time. So that's pretty cool. Oh, if your husbandos are monsters, I got a problem. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. We don't kink shame monster fuckers here. We don't sh kink shame that. 
we're all we're all a little a little kinky for the monsters. Wait, 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 I missed a message here. Sandy Chica Lover 69. Oh my god, will you go to prom with me? I'm sorry. I don't go to prom anymore. I don't go to school. <laughs> it's so funny that you gotta get to the fourth region to actually get some help from an organ. God, for real. Is the, is the fourth region the war, the one after Izuma? I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's the, for, the fourth region. The one that, like, France inspired, I think? Because I, I, I still have not, like, finished uh, the Raiden Shogun storyline. I still have not gone through that, to be honest. Sumero. Oh, Sumero. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. No, wait, Sumer, Sumer is the one that that's kind of like Egypt, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, no I'm, I'm getting confused. Like, the one I was thinking about, it comes after. Yeah, the French one is Fontaine. Yeah, the Fontaine. Fontaine, Fontaine, I have no idea how you pronounce that. <laughs> also, Manny, hello. Sorry, sorry I didn't say hello. How, how you doing? Was completely distracted by my darling streamer. I forgot the game I was in. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to prom. We're all going to prom together. Let's go. We never had a prom. It's not a thing we do here, to be honest. Also, Teddy, hello. Welcome. Uh, have you seen that they, they debunked the rumors about the Sonic Heroes remake? I never believed the rumors. They were fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the rumors were incredibly fucking stupid. And the so-called evidence that people had were like just grasping at straws <laughs> for something. <laughs> they were just fucking grasping so hard to like believe in something that is never gonna happen. Like, like the clues that people had were like, oh, but look, they they put like a, a high quality version of the trailer for Sonic Heroes in like a fucking one second clip in one of the Tales 2 videos. Like, bro, they, they have the source files for those videos or they could have just as easily fucking upscaled them with AI or something. Like that didn't prove shit and people just went running wild with assumptions just based on that little like smidget of information. Lamau Sonic Heroes remake rumor. Yeah, for real. It was, it was like fucking super. Like you know what the the even if you wanted to be a bit more realistic, like if people were saying, you know, maybe we're going to get a Sonic Heroes port, like they're just going to grab the game as is and they're just going to port it to Steam or something like that. Maybe that, that could happen someday, but like I really don't think that Sega and Sonic Team are gonna waste the fucking time to remake Sonic Heroes on the on the fucking Hedgehog engine or something or whatever. I don't think they're gonna do that ever. <laughs> so whenever people were spreading those rumors around, I was like, yeah, look, like no, this is this is fucking cope. This is this is just copium. It's hard copium. Sonic Heroes remaster when pigs fly, and you know, you know what the worst part is like. I would like, I would like for there to be a Sonic Heroes remaster. I would like for them to actually grab Sonic Heroes and try to like remake it and polish it and like fix a bunch of the fucking stages. But that's never gonna fucking happen. We're gonna have to wait until the f until the fans do it, like Project 06 or fucking <laughs> something like that. Like the, like the people that are porting Sonic Unleashed on the fucking Sonic Generations engine. <laughs> something like that. We're just gonna have to wait for something like that to happen one of these days. The whole Sonic Heroes turn out to be a Sonic Dream because the team were the same for Sonic Heroes. The team, the team was the same for Sonic Heroes? Like you mean the people that made it? But that's like a hard light. 
Unless the hard light is like composed of like the people that used to work on Sonic Team by by the time they did Sonic Heroes, I have no idea how that would work out to be honest. I don't, I don't even think that they were like teasing Sonic Dream Team by by showing Sonic Heroes clips or anything. If they remake some games, might be SA1 and 2 more likely. And even then, that's like super unlikely at this point. Even then, that's like... I don't see that happening anytime soon. I feel like in a way, like, Sonic Team kind of wants to move away from the legacy of Sonic Adventure. Which I which I think is fucking stupid, but it, it seems like that's what they're trying to do. Like, they're trying to make a new landmark piece. In the same way that Sonic Adventure was. And they're they're utterly failing at it, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> that it's Sonic Team, that's that's nothing new but Lomel. <laughs> Unless it's Sonic Heroes levels and Sonic X Shadow Generations being remastered. Uh, it could be. I mean Son Shadow Shadow does appear in fucking Sonic Heroes, so like maybe there's gonna be like one stage or two. Um, you know, relating to Sonic Heroes? Maybe? Yeah, because Sh Shadow doesn't have any many stages that they can, like, grab and remake. You know, they have stages from Sonic Adventure 2, of course. And they have stages from Shadow the Hedgehog. And th there is Sonic Heroes in between those two. So, like, they could grab one or two stages from Sonic Heroes. I don't know. They want to move away from the Chow Garden. For real, they want to move away from it so bad. Like, they could have... The, the fucking Cocos in the in Sonic Frontiers could have... Could have... Might... Could well have been just Chows. Could, could have just been Chows. But they decided to, like, not use Chows and just make fucking legally distinct Koroks instead. <laughs> also, yes, we're not, we're not gonna get Sonic Adventure 3 because Sonic 06 already happened. That is Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> Koroks at home. Actually, Koroks at home, yes. Literally Koroks at home. Discount Koroks. Fucking Kirkland brand Koroks. <laughs> Chow's the only good character since Sonic. <laughs> hey. Hey. There's Amy Rose. There's Amy Rose. And Blaze. And Rouge. And tails, and and shadow. Well, shadow not so much anymore, to be honest. Like he's he's kind of he's kind of a shit character now. Shadow is like really fucking flanderized now. He's just like they just they just turned the edge up to, to like fucking eleven. So he's just an edgy boy now. No, no knuckles. Knuckles is not a good character. I fucking hate knuckles. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shame you, Kiki. I'm gonna shame you in front of everyone. We were, we were hanging out, and we were, we were at a store where they were selling like the Sonic figurines, and and Kiki thought that uh, a figurine of Mighty the Armadillo was was a knockoff Knuckles. <laughs> he was like, look at this fucking knockoff Knuckles, Lamal. It doesn't even look like him. <laughs> And I was, but that's mighty. That's that's an actual character. That's mighty. <laughs> he does look like Knuckles. That's true. <laughs> he, do, he does look a lot like Knuckles. <laughs> but he's an actual character. He's an actual character of his own. He was not a knockoff. <laughs> it was bootleg Knuckles. <laughs> to be fair, the store where we were at was filled with bootleg stuff. So like. It could have been, it could have been the case that there was a bootleg Knuckles. <laughs> but, but that one wasn't. That one was actually legit. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Kiki. I just, I just had to, I just had to. It was so funny. <laughs> I still think about it. Next you're going to tell me they have a bird called Bean. Yes, they do. It's a duck. Being the dynamite duck. 
Actually, I think it's called just Bean the Dynamite, and that's it. Like, that's the name. But, but he's a duck. <laughs> he only appears in Sonic the Fighters. He barely counts as fucking character. Although, I, I do appreciate Honey. Honey the Cat. And she also just only appears on Sonic the Fighters. And even worse, because she only appears on one specific remake or port, I guess, of Sonic the Fighters for the PlayStation 2. And that's the only actual official appearance <laughs> of Honey the Cat. <laughs> she just doesn't fucking exist outside of there. I think she did appear like once or twice in the Archie comics, but I'm not sure. Along with Bark the Polar Bear. Yep, yeah, Bark the Polar Bear and, and and fucking Bean the Dynamite. Bean and Bark are also in Fighters Mega Mix. Yeah, like, see, actually, Bean and Bark actually appear in more games than, than Honey the Cat. Main, hello, how you doing? Welcome. Tails Doll versus Honey. Technically, Tails Doll has now appeared also in Sonic Superstars. So now he has two official game appearances. So now he has more appearances than Honey the Cat. <laughs> Which is fucking sad. <laughs> I want Honey the Cat, bring her back. Why is the music from The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog so good? Every single Sonic game has banger music. Even though the games are shit, the, the music is always a banger. Not, not to say that the, the Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog was bad. Sonic, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog was actually a really good game. But that's because it was not even made by Sega. <laughs> sorry, not, not Sega, Sonic Team, sorry. <laughs> It wasn't even made by Sonic Team, so that's why it's good. Oh my god, you're right. Sonic Chronicles is like... Sonic Chronicles is the exception to the rule, you know? There has to be one exception to the rule, and, and it's Sonic Chronicles. And it was free. And it was free, yeah. Sonic, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog was free. It was free, it was an April Fool's joke that actually turned out to be a great game. Like a really fun spin-off game. That's probably never gonna be acknowledged ever again. Well, actually, no, I lie, because they, they have acknowledged, like, the conductor and the conductor's wife in, like, some IDW illustrations and stuff like that. <laughs> it's Ken Pentor. <laughs> oh, no. My god, but you're right, man. I forgot about Sonic Chronicles. The music from Sonic Chronicles was just like, oh, my god. And Sonic Chronicles wasn't made by Sonic Team, nor was Sonic Boom Rise of Lurk. Oh my god. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, just, just rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> but Sonic Dream Team was also not made by, by Sega. Sorry, by Sonic Team. Sonic Dream Team was also not made by Sonic Team. And that is one of my favorite Sonic games as of, as of now. It's short, it's sweet, it's good. It's a shame that it's so short, like, I wish it was longer, but, you know, I, I'm willing to accept that. It's kind of like Sonic R, as in, like, the only complaint that I have with Sonic R is how, how short it is. I wish it was longer, and that's it. Sonic R is a perfect racing game, other than that. <laughs> I wish they'd let me play that. Yeah, that's, that's like... Yeah, like... Like, not complaining about the game itself, but like the circumstances surrounding the game. Yes, the, the main complaint with Sonic Dream Team is that it's an exclusive for the Apple Arcade. That, that does fucking suck. Honestly, I'm surprised that there's like no, no way to emulate the Apple Arcade or something like that. I mean, there must be, but like, I, I haven't seen... Haven't seen like any mainstream or like well-known ways of doing it outside of like running a virtual machine with like Mac OS Which is like a whole fucking like whole fucking mess to do <laughs> It always bothered me that Sonic being the fastest hedgehog alive needs a car. Why? 
I mean, to quote Sonic's actual answer to this is that because cars are cool. And that's it. <laughs> that was the answer. That was the actual answer. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know how seriously, how how legitimately you want to take the answers from the Sonic Twitter takeovers. But that was the answer. The answer is that cars are cool. <laughs> to make it fair. Honestly, that's the most widely accepted reason, to be honest. But I don't know anybody Exactly, yeah, just to make it fair. Just to make it fair. He needs a car because it's a car racing contest. I mean, true. Yeah, it's like, you know, even if he if he's gonna play tennis, he cannot just arrive and smack the ball with his hands, you know, that's that's against the rules. <laughs> Isn't he an, a teenager too young to drive a car? They have no ages. Stop it. Stop it. Even Sega is trying to like get rid of this notion that they have ages. Stop it. <laughs> they've removed they've scrubbed the entirety of their websites from, from that information because people keep making these fucking <laughs> arguments. <laughs> They're tired, they're tired of people speculating on their ages, so they just scrub that information away. <laughs> Tails is way too young to drive a plane, god damn it. <laughs> and to go to the casino and all classic games, well, true, also. You know? Even in Sonic Adventure, where like, they still had ages, like, you, you could go into a casino, like, like, what the fuck? That is so problematic, Sega. I'm gonna cancel I'm gonna cancel Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure is cancelled because it's promoting gambling for children. <laughs> Rouge the cat. Child gambling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sonic Adventure 1. Cancelled. Is he really nerfed in Mario and Sonic? Is Mario very fast also? I think he purposely, purposefully nerfs himself. I, I think he, he just, he's just like severely nerfed for the plot. <laughs> They're Japanese, oh no. <laughs> we don't want to open that can of worms. I don't want to sit here and debate about like Japanese culture because I, I honestly don't even know enough about it to, to actually make any arguments. So we're just going to skip over that. <laughs> skill issue. I do not have a skill issue. What, what skill issue? What, even, what, even, what does that even mean in this context? <laughs> Let's just move on. Still, Sonic Adventure 1 cancelled. Fucking cancelled. I don't like it. I don't like Sonic Adventure 1. That's my, my fucking hot take in the Sonic fandom. <laughs> Short summary Japan is weird. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they do be a little bit weird. They do be a little bit weird. Is it hot though? Yes. Yes, because every time I every time I mention it, I get like a wave of people complaining at me, <laughs> complaining that I didn't play the correct version of Sonic Adventure, <laughs> and that's why I don't like it. They just they just complained at me that I never played the actual Dreamcast version on real Dreamcast hardware because even though I've tried the real Dreamcast version but on an emulator that doesn't count that doesn't count because I didn't play it on real hardware so so I, I'm wrong I'm wrong because I haven't actually played Sonic Adventure 1 legitimately in its perfect state that it released in on the Dreamcast like in the fucking 90s apparently <laughs> Which is a massive fucking lie. It's a massive fucking lie that that game was broken as well on the Sonic fucking Dreamcast. <laughs> fake Sonic fan. Fake Sonic fan. Absolutely, I'm I'm the fakest Sonic fan out there. I play the actual Dreamcast version, and I didn't like it. Either. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just like super broken and the pacing is terrible and like the voice acting is fucking awful like let's, let's not even get started on the animations that horse has been beaten to fucking death already like like sure the animations are shit but like okay okay i'll i'll give him a pass on that it's like fine everyone was still like experimenting in the early 90s like how the fuck to do animations but whatever but the voice acting is just fucking terrible Honestly, being a Sonic fan and hating all the games is pretty standard. That is true, actually. That is true. It's like, it's a split on the fandom, you know? You either hate all the games or you're gonna defend all the games despite them being shit. Sonic Adventure 2, though. Fell in love with it. Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 is really fucking good. Sonic Adventure 2, really good game. Really cool. Really well made. Massive steps forward when it came to like everything, you know, animations, voice acting, script, everything was just so much better in Sonic Adventure 2. By like miles better. <laughs> I'm sure it was amazing back then. That That's my fucking, again, that's part of my hot take. I don't think it was even amazing back then. I think it, even then, even like judging it by the standards of the time, it was pretty shit. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, Crash Bandicoot and fucking Spider the Dragon had already released by the time Sonic Adventure 1 came out. <laughs> so, I, I think even judging Sonic Adventure 1 by the standards of the time, it was still pretty, pretty bad. I say too, English dub is still pretty janky. I mean, true. True, it's still pretty janky, but it's not as bad as Sonic Adventure 1. Like, it, it's janky and a little bit cringe, but I think it's on the same level of janky and cringe that something like the first Sonic Ratchet and Clank was. Leo White is the best Sonic voice actor in the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jaleel White. I don't, honestly, I don't even hate Jaleel's, Jaleel White's sonic voice. It's like, it's nasally and whatnot, but like, I don't hate it. It's fine. I, I, I had my fucking mind blown whenever I learned that he was voicing the three hedgehogs in Sonic Underground. I fucking, I fucking lost my shit then. It blew my mind. Although it's now pretty obvious in retrospect. Hot Sonic I just fake. never noticed. All Sonic fans don't like any of the games, Kappa. <laughs> you're, you're not a true Sonic fan until you hate all the games. That's true. And your favorite games are gonna be like the, the super, you know, non-controversial ones. Like the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Or maybe you're like me and you're, you're gonna sit here and say that Sonic R is one of the best Sonic games ever made. You can tell a Sonic fan by how much they want to shoot it. No! Not the fucking Maria jokes, no! Sonic Spinball, baby, let's go! Sonic R is one of the best, though. Yeah, it is. It is. It is somehow a controversial take, but it is one of the best Sonic games. A lot of people hate it just because of the fucking controls. Which I I call a massive fucking skill issue there. If you didn't learn how to play Sonic R, that's a fucking skill issue. The controls aren't bad. You are bad. Most Sonic fans are only in it for the plot. Kokoma 15 kisses. <laughs> We're only there for the plot, absolutely. Most most Sonic fans are just there for Rouge the Bat, let's be honest. <laughs> that's like half of the fandom. Half of the fandom is just there for Rouge the Bat, and that's it. Especially Harry and Ego Raptor Hansen, the biggest Sonic fan. I, I have a bone to pick with Aaron Hansen. I think one of the reasons why Sonic 06 is like so overly hated is just because of them. Just because of the Game Grumps. And like sure the game was broken but also like half of the fucking time if you go and watch that playthrough 
that they did, half of the fucking time is just airing being stupid and not knowing what to do in a fucking video game, which is like half of Game Grumps. You know, like most of Game Grumps is just like airing being stupid and not knowing how to progress in a game. <laughs> but like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have a massive bone to pick there. Cause like, I feel like Sonic 06 is like way, way over hated because of them. Especially because of Aaron. Also, Maya, hello, how you doing? Welcome. My god, it's so funny that I spent today uh, like explaining why I do my streams in English because most of my audience speaks English. But now we've had like four, four Spanish speakers in the chat. <laughs> my argument is falling apart, no! <laughs> Rouge never did did to a ton for me. For real, that is that is uh, you know I I understand I understand. It's just surprising. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Same here. I prefer Tails and Sonic, not really for the loot. But the loot is how you find out about Sonic in the first place. The first time I learned about Sonic was like was was through inflation drawings on DeviantArt. <laughs> the loots are what bring you to the Sonic fandom. <laughs> it's true. Don't deny it. <laughs> don't, don't. You know it to be true. Now I learned loot from Sonic here. No, you're all lying. You're all lying. You're all lying. Everyone knew Sonic because of the loots. That's it. That's the only reason why it got popular. <laughs> Sonic inflation porn is a meme for a fucking reason. It's because it's most people's first exposure to Sonic. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't don't take don't take me super seriously. But that was my experience. That was my experience. I I got to knew I got to know about Sonic because of DeviantArt. Sonic and Overwatch have something in common. That yes, yes, that that's exactly it's exactly like Overwatch. <laughs> I was playing Sonic since before I could remember. Damn. Maybe it's because I'm I'm a late I'm a mid '90s kid. That's that's probably why. I was I'm a mid '90s kid that I have no access, no no unrestricted access to the internet. <laughs> Carol, I played since I was eight years old. I didn't know about Sonic. I didn't know about him. I had a PlayStation. I knew about Crash and Spyro and like I played The Sims on the computer. I played Doom before I even played Sonic or something like that. I didn't know about Sonic until much later. <laughs> My god, what do you send now, William? What is this? Trying to convince us to trying, trying to convince us we learn Sonic from loot. What what is this? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> that that's it. You needed to send a fucking link for this, William. Oh my god. God damn it, William. I appreciate the donations, but but still, what the fuck? Little was? baby woman, baby woman, baby woman. <laughs> Funny thing that Amy got most leaded than Rouge or even Sally for all those years. People most really loved the pink hedgehog. It's it's funny because I I I did see a bunch of like AB loots back in the day, but there was also like a big part of the fandom that just fucking hated Amy. Like they they massively fucking hated her for no reason. I still don't get why. Kiki, you played Sonic Adventure 2, <laughs> and that's how you knew about him. See? Kiki, Kiki gets it. I didn't know about Sonic until Sonic 06. That's the first Sonic game that I played. In this house, we love the pink hedgehog. We stand the pink hedgehog here. We stand Amy Rose. We stand Strawberry Shortcake. 
fuck you mean now? <laughs> It's about that cookie from each other. It's all about bunny rabbit for me. It's all about that. Oh, thank you, Bonds. In this house, we praise the pink lady because we like her. We what? love her. Why do you hate her. Amy? Why do you hate Amy? We simp for her too. We simp. We simp for Amy. Yes. We love her. She's the best. She's the best hedgehog. We stand Rosie the Rascal. <laughs> I don't I don't really know what the situation is with Rosie the Rascal. Is she like a different character? Is she like an alternate universe like character? Kinda like Scourge, you know? I'm I'm not even sure to be honest. She was not annoying in Sonic Adventure 2. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? She breaks Sonic out of jail. She's cool. She just screamed. <laughs> oh no. She like the bad bad guy version of Amy. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I was unsure. I was unsure. I thought it was a nickname for Amy. Yeah, I was unsure if it was just like a different name that that she used to have, or or if she was like a different character. Oh, it's both. I Rosie was a it in the server once, but Amy is the reason why I'm into silly feats, <laughs> giantess, fat stuff. <laughs> See. The Sonic Lutes. The Sonic Lutes are ever present. I think she's like an alternative version of Amy. Rosie's just like search for Amy. Rosie was originally Amy's nickname. Now it's used for the anti Mobius Amy in RG. Well, shit, it's both then. So I guess she was Rosie the Rascal at some point. And then it just like became like the second, the secondary version of Amy, I guess. <laughs> See that the Sonic loot you can't out escape the Sonic loots. The Sonic loots are everywhere. You cannot escape the Sonic feats. I knew Amy for loots. But you ended up seeing the the Amy loots, and that's what got you into the, the things that you were into. So so I still win. <laughs> I I stand by what I said. <laughs> Sonic history is very weird, yes. It's, it is very fucking weird. It's kind of like how Eggman and Robotnik were like both the name of the character in different regions and then they, they just decided to be like, oh yeah, Robotnik is actually his name, but he goes by Eggman. You know, that's his fucking nickname that, that Sonic landed on him, but now he's like reclaimed his nickname and, and turned it into like his, his marketable villain image or something. I don't fucking know, it's weird. It makes no sense. Also, before I go, my friend Bia wanted me to say hi for her. Aw, oh, thank you. Say hi to her as well. Take care, Coco. Love you. Lovely. Have a lovely night. Thank you, Maya. Have a good one. Have a good night. Thank you for joining. Are you comic Sonic gave me a stroke right to read the entire series? <laughs> Look, Do I... you know the US manual for Sonic CD tried to pass off Amy as Princess Sally? Oh, yes. I've heard about this. <laughs> I've heard about it. It's like, it's, it's funny because like, as, as far as I understand the problem or the confusion came because like Sonic, the, the Sad AM cartoon was already like way underway in the United States. And like people associated Sonic's love interest with Sally Acorn. So they just immediately assumed that, that the print, that the, the, the girl that you were going to be rescuing in Sonic CD was just Sally Acorn. <laughs> As, as far as I understand, that was like the confusion that happened. Like nobody actually told them like, hey, you, this is actually a different character. <laughs> this is a new character. This is not Sally. Uh, fucking... The localization for Sonic in the early days was just atrocious, to be honest. <laughs> How do we know that? That's a good question. I heard it in one of those, those like fucking history compilations of like YouTube and YouTube or something like that. But honestly, yeah, I have no idea if there's any fucking source for that claim. So, so maybe maybe that that's just conjecture. So don't take don't take what I what I said about it. This fact, <laughs> a 
was someone who was a Sony, uh, Sega of America Sega. So I have no idea, honestly. I don't remember. I just remember hearing about it in one of these YouTube videos, but I don't even remember if they cited a source or not. The source is I fucking... I, it was revealed to me in a dream. <laughs> it wasn't revealed to me in a dream. That's the source. They can't just say that Sally, she's got... Uh, She's got... She, she's not just got feed her chicks with not What? <laughs> what the fuck? Does, I don't even understand what that means. Feels like all the people who claim that Tails was originally female. And they are right. Tails is a girl. That is true. That is so real and true. <laughs> it's canon, by the way. I, I I said it, therefore it is true. Source, trust me, bro. <laughs> actually, actually, trust me, bro. That's that's it. I mean, yeah. But <laughs> no, I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. It's just one of those like fucking claims that gets parroted around in the fandom, and no one actually knows where it came from, or if it's even real or not at this point. So, I, I do understand what you mean. So, like, maybe, maybe the whole, like, Sonic CD, like, Sally thing was, like, just conjecture as well. So, I have no idea, actually. Tell's creator has said that didn't happen. I, I trust that. I trust Tell's creator. But Tails is a girl either way, so... Tails is... Tails is the... Tails is a... Is a, is a girl. She, she, she is. There is no evidence to prove the contrary. <laughs> Young me thought Tails was girl, had a crush on Tails back then. <laughs> Tails is cake up. See, there it is, there it is. Even William knows. Even William knows that Tails is a girl. That's it, that's the, that's the real truth, the real facts. You should make Femtails merch. I did already. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, I should do more. You're right. I believe the Tails is a girl think came from a single localization of the Sonic 2 manual that referred to him as female, though I don't remember which localization had it. Could be. Could be, but I, I honestly don't know. So, so. We're, we're still kind of in this limbo of like, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But yeah, Femtails? Femtails? Top tier. Top tier Sonic character. Boys, girls, whatever. Cute ass characters are cute. True. True. That is so true. Maybe Tails is just beyond gender. <laughs> Tails has transcended the gender. <laughs> I think the Latin American dub for... Ah, uh, yeah, like, they, they do call him uh, Colitas in, in all of the, all of the translations. They either call him Colitas or Colas, but that's just because the word uh, for tail is, is gendered in Spanish. But it's not because, it, it, they, they don't refer to the character as a she. They just gave him a, a name that sounds feminine because it's the name of his tails. You know, the, the, the name is Tails, and because Spanish is a gendered language, and you have nouns with fucking, <laughs> with fucking genders, <laughs> um, that's why. Oh, and that dub, they also use female pronouns. Oh, man, okay, I have, I have never seen that one, to be honest, so I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll check it out sometime. Yeah, they could, they could have called him El Coles, but, <laughs> but, but that would feel very informal. That would feel very weird. <laughs> Cerveza Cristal. That's the that's a new one. That's the, the new Spanish Latin American meme going around. Yo, what up, my rodent sister? I'll be 26 this Sunday. Whoop, whoop. Whoa, hello. How you doing, Space? How you doing, Space Gerbil? Also, happy early birthday. Hope you have a good one. <laughs> Never search Colitas on Google. 
Never search colitas without save search on. True. I'm not the youngest one anymore. <laughs> See, you're you're part of the old club now. You're part of the 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 old crew. My God, I'm gonna be 30 this year. I'm actually gonna be 30 this year. I don't wanna be 30. I hate this. Not as old as you. Shut up. Shut up. I don't wanna be 30. I'm just gonna keep saying I'm 29 for the rest of time. Here, have my points since you're such a good friend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. No! No, I don't want to be. I don't want to be part of the club. I don't want to be in the 30s club. 29 still older than me. Yeah, but just give me a few years. I'm going to keep being 29. And eventually you're going to be 30. And I'm going to still be 29. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Welcome to the knee cracking club. <laughs> Now I don't want to have my knees popping. I mean, they already do, but like, I don't want them to pop even more. <laughs> I hate it. No, I don't want to be 30. I'm not. I'm not going to be 30. I'm going to be 29 forever. Look at Okay, great. Let's get you to <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I hate this. I don't want to. I've done nothing with my life and I'm gonna be 30 already. I hate this. I'm also learning how to use mouse and keyboard for my games and my fingers really hurt. Oh damn. I mean yeah it does take a take a it takes a little bit to get used to it. I, I had the same thing happen when I first started playing on PC. Especially whenever you have to press like control and shift for like long periods of time with your fucking pinky. Yeah yeah that hurts sometimes, but you either can just like remap it, you can remap most games to something that's more comfortable for you or or you can just like get used to it <laughs> or you can just keep playing with controller to be honest like there's there's no shame in playing with controller. There are people developing fucking mods for Minecraft so that you can play Haven't with your controller. Proper keyboard since high school, oh damn. Nah, it couldn't be me. I love my keyboards. I love my keyboards. My little, my clickety clackities. I love him. <laughs> love my keyboard too. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of mechanical keyboards and shit. They are so good. I especially like linear switches. Although I do like the clickies too. They can be very noisy, but the clickies are really good as well. <laughs> Yet mine can't click clack because the walls are thing here. Yeah, that's that's why I go with linears more and more now. The silent switches. Oh, oh! But I've had bad experiences with the silent switches. They usually feel very mushy. I don't like them. Love blue switches, they are nice and loud. My neighbors don't like them. <laughs> My favorites are fucking kale pinks. I have one. If only I could use a control stick for movement and still have the precision of the mouse. I have some some switches here. These are kale pinks. These are these are other clicky switches. And they sound so nice. I love them. Because like, unlike blue switches, unlike the regular Cherry MX blues, uh, the click is actually made by a little metal bar inside of the switch, instead of just being a a sheet that is part of the actuation actuator, I guess, what, whatever you want to call it. It's like a, it's a separate it's a separate part of the switch, and it's like a little metal bar that that presses against the, the plastic switch. It's really nice. I like them. They have a really nice feel to it. There are also kale whites and kale jades, which are like 
even stronger. The pink ones are like the lighter, the lighter ones. Actually, I think the pink ones are like a little bit stronger than the than the whites. I think it's the whites, then the pinks, then the navy blues, and then the jades. I think that's how it goes. Not not sure. I haven't checked in a while to be honest. But I really like the pinks. They're like my favorites. They're my favorite switches. But I can't fucking use them because they're too noisy. Coco, stop being so cute and beautiful or I'm going to black you. <laughs> Thank you. I love my keyboard too. Love how it's the one you gave me. Oh, I'm glad you still like it. I'm glad you still like it. It's a really it's a really nice nice entry point one. Yeah. There's a lot of pretty light. What keyboard did you get, Kiki? It was one of my first keyboards, one of my first mechanical keyboards. Uh, I think the brand is Moto Speed. It was a Moto Speed keyboard with Otemo Blues. And, and yeah, and yeah, yeah, it's like, it has like RGB and shit. <laughs> but I gave that one to Kiki at some point. I, I, I have many keyboards. I, <laughs> I, have, actually, I, have, I have too many keyboards. <laughs> and way too many switches. I have like a little like fucking... It's like... It's like a little like drawer collection. Like it's a, it's a fucking... It's a box with many drawers. And I keep like different switches on each one of those drawers. And they're all like tagged. So we have for fucking like... Kale pinks, and we have Gatron and blacks, and Gatron yellows, and fucking uh, uh, Fecker pandas, and all of that shit. Got lots of switches, lots of switches to play around with. Proceeds to bombard the ferret with bleps and Amy blushies. No. <laughs> I love my Amy plushies. I have I have many Amy plushies now, and they make me so happy. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. My computer knowledge is minus one. I still think mouses have small balls inside. No, they haven't had. They don't have that anymore. They don't have that anymore. I mean, I would say that it's hard to tell which one it is because, like, some some mice nowadays have. Uh, optical switches and some of them still have like the fucking infrared switches I'm sorry not switches like the fucking sensors so some, uh, some of them have optical sensors and some of them have the infrared sensors so it's kind of hard to tell nowadays but if your if your mouse doesn't doesn't shine a red light uh, when you turn it around it's likely an optical sensor I still get bags of switches so I can feel and hear them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do like, I do, I have even a, like a little keychain that is like a, a support for a switch and it's got like a keycap. So you can keep like one key that you can press around on the go because I have fucking ADD <laughs> and I need my stimulation on the go. <laughs> I need my fucking tactile toys in the game. Me. Do any of your OCs game too? Do any of my OCs game too? I mean, pretty much all the OCs that I've made do. Like Tanya, Tanya was definitely a gamer. She was a gamer possum, a gamer possum queen. Um, there's Danny. I've only drawn Danny like twice, but, but yes, he do be a gamer too. I don't keep many OCs around, to be honest. Uh, some some of them I just draw once and I never draw them again, so I kind of like just forget about them. <laughs> but but most of them are most of them are gamers. What happened to Tanya? Tanya's still around. Just just haven't drawn her. I just haven't drawn her in a while, but she's still there. I still want to keep drawing her. I don't want to forget Tanya. Tanya is Tanya is like my baby. She's my little baby. R.I.P. Georgia Town. Yeah, Georgia is fucking dead. Georgia, Georgia is never coming back. <laughs> like, 
with the one exception that like I got commissioned to draw her like a couple months ago, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm not opposed to drawing her when it comes to commissions and whatnot, like but out of out of my own desire, probably not. Out of my own desire to draw her, yeah, probably not. Georgia Georgia can just be forgotten. Tanya was killed. No, she's not dead. Tanya's not dead. She's she's there. She's there in the background. She's just she's just napping. <laughs> Georgia well up to visit your mother. Yeah, there was also there was also Helen. But like like Georgia, I also don't really draw Helen anymore. I don't really draw any of my my, my little pony OCs. I'm I'm kinda like out of that fandom. This is why I got Star Pony out of retirement to draw Fluttershy. <laughs> God damn it. No. Stunner Pony is dead. Stunner Pony doesn't exist anymore. I killed the Stunner Pony. He was weak. <laughs> Someday I'll come in to have all the girls kiss the screen. No. Oh, that's cute. That sounds cute though. Tanya been napping for a long time. I mean, she was active for a long time. She was active for a long while. Just give her a break. Give her a break. You know who else you should draw? My mom! <laughs> God damn. The fucking muscle man. Mus muscle man. <laughs> muscle man in the chat. Coco's the cutest. Aw, thank you. I appreciate it. I that. want to see Coco being friends with Sasha Lilac. So excited for Freedom Planet 2 to be available on April 4th. Aww. That, that do be cute, yeah. I thought Freedom Planet 2 had already come out. I thought it had already come out. Huh? Don't know why. Don't know why I thought that. <laughs> You know who else is the honor? <laughs> oh no. What even are what even is that reference to? I don't get it. I got an idea for Coco and Dragon Kiki. Oh! Do tell. It's almost out, so just a few more days. Yeah, just a few more days. It's less than a week. Actually, no, it's a little, a little bit more than a week, but but still. <laughs> I, I miscounted, I miscounted. It's a secret? Oh. All right, all right, thank you. I can post it if I'm allowed. No, you're not allowed to post links here. On you can post it on the Discord. My room, oh. I found me uh. fingerless gloves. On another note, will my change room find my fingerless gloves? Oh, that's nice! I like fingerless gloves. I have a couple fingerless gloves. Although right now it's too hot to wear them. Trip is really adorable for a character in Sonic Super Sonic. Trip is really cute, yeah. Shame she's kind of like forever gonna be stuck in the in the classic Sonic timeline. memes for you. Thank you. Alright, I'll check it out later. <laughs> I really don't like how they're doing like fucking like modern Sonic and classic Sonic as like two separate timelines that don't like collide or anything. Like, I don't, I don't like it. But at the same time, I don't want to have fucking classic Sonic as another character on every single game like they did with Forces. Because that, that would be fucking terrible. I don't know what the solution would be, to be honest. Because I, I get wanting to keep, like, two different styles of game around for the two different fan bases, I guess. You know, there's the people who like the classic Sonic games, there's people who like the modern Sonic games, sure. I get that. 
and they often don't mix. But don't worry, it's all a ruse to get ready for Sonic Generations. Oh no! <laughs> no! God, I, I am so fucking worried about like Sonic Generations, the, like Sonic X Shadow Generations. I'm so worried about that. I mean, there was the Tales 2 where they mentioned the anniversary of Superstars events and implied they might go see Trip again. I mean, yes, but on the other hand, they have also mentioned, like, the actual fucking, like, in interviews, I, I'm pretty sure they did mention that they want to keep the timeline separate. So, like, I don't know. Tales 2 feels like an extension of the Sonic Twitter takeovers where, like, it's not necessarily canon. It's just, like, kind of the voice actors having fun. Although, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they will actually m make good on their word and actually start including the other characters in the newer Sonic games. Like Tangle and Whisper and, and Lanolin and whatnot. That would be nice. They, they did mention sticks in Sonic Frontiers, which was like, I'm still fucking surprised about that, but... Given that I'm pretty sure it was only on the English dub, I don't know if that was part of the Japanese dub. So I don't know how much we should read into that. <laughs> Laddle, Laddle, Laddle. <laughs> or make modern and classic views into views to form advanced Sonic. No, no, don't break, don't. I hope Styx isn't dead. I really hope that they don't just forever abandon Styx in the Sonic Boom universe. I really hope that they don't just let her die there. Because she's such a good character. She's so fun. And she's got a cool design. She's really cool. I like her. I need to draw her sometime. I don't if actually Kogo draw Styx. If was a religion, what would be a mandatory rule? Uh, you gotta, you gotta fucking have a shrine to Amy Rose on your house, yeah. That's the rule. <laughs> Been rewatching Boom with the GF, I still like it. It's so good! Sonic Boom, the, the TV show, the, it's so fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. I know that a lot of people don't like the constant meta humor that the show does, but I think it's really funny. I don't mind the meta humor that much. Like, sometimes... Sometimes it can be overdone, the, the meta humor, but I don't think they, they overdo it in, in Sonic Boom. We're looking at you, Marine. Yeah, Marine is another character that they just fucking forgot about forever. It's so sad. Do you know you can eat sunflower, like the actual sunflower? I did not know that, I just knew you could eat the seeds. They're tasty, by the way. If, you, if you've never tried sunflower seeds, they're pretty tasty. I was surprised to realize that the mental humor only really comes in the second season. Yeah, yeah, for the most part it, it's absent in the first season. They only, they only really start doing it in the second season. And even then, again, I don't think it's really that bad. It doesn't feel super forced. More importantly, I don't think it's like... I think the problem that a lot of meta humor has is that... Unless you're like really fucking part of the fandom, you're not gonna get the joke. And I don't think the Sonic Boom one struggles with that. But I may be wrong, like, I don't know. I am very biased. I am very biased when it comes to Sonic Boom. Especially because I think it's the, the best version of Amy Rose. <laughs> Sonic Boom is my favorite version of Amy Rose. <laughs> so I am very biased about it. <laughs> they, they have some, some really fucking... Some, some fucking gems. Of, of episodes like the fucking pound puppies the pound puppies episode like Amy and Eggman are like fucking like <laughs> go, going on secret meetups to play a fucking board game <laughs> it's great I love it <laughs> I 
You like Boo Baby because she's not attached to Sonic, so go <laughs> jump in. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. A little bit. I gotta go now, gotta feed the doggers and have, a, have fun for the stream. Oh, thank you for joining, Kiki. No worries. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you around. Thanks, thanks again for joining. Always appreciate it. They have gems, those are the Chaos Emeralds. I mean, true. Which is funny, because the Chaos Emeralds are never fucking mentioned in, in Sonic Boom. As far as I remember, I don't remember if they were ever fucking mentioned there. Which I don't, I don't think they were. It's like pretty separate from the rest of the canon. Sonic Boom was like supposed to be like kind of a reboot in a way. A reboot spin-off. Angel Island is mentioned. Okay, I didn't remember that, but... So I, I guess there are some things that are still canon. Kind of like how Shadow the Hedgehog appears out of fucking nowhere sometimes. Uh, like, that's never fucking explained. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of haven't watched the whole thing. I'm pretty sure there are episodes that I've missed because they didn't upload the whole fucking thing to Netflix here in Mexico. For some reason, I don't know. Uh, there were some episodes missing for some weird fucking reason. Yet Shadow's still look modern. Yeah, it's so weird. It's so fucking weird that they, they introduced Shadow in Sonic Boom, but I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's explained the game. I think in the game Shadow appears as well. As well as Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic, I think, appears in the game. Nah, Shadow is just there. Okay, so I didn't miss something. <laughs> Okay, well, that's good. That's good. They just introduce him, and, and it's very fucking confusing because they introduce Shadow one episode as like the big bad guy. And he's like, uh, it's like Eggman is like, oh my god, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. I want to make, I want to, I want to make sure that Shadow thinks I'm cool, you know? Like, that's the entire fucking joke that Shadow is like the actual true villain. But it makes no fucking sense because Shadow has never been a villain. What the fuck is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's out the edge. Yeah, they they didn't bring shadow. They didn't they didn't have shadow. They just brought out the edge. It's just so fucking weird. It's so fucking weird how they were trying to make shadow into a villain again. Well, I say again, but again, like like like, like I just said, he was never a villain. So like, you can't make him a villain again because he never was a villain. <laughs> That is a meta joke about Shadow's fandom popularity. Actually, yeah, that does make sense. It does make sense to just think about it as a meta joke. I guess that's one example of meta humor not really landing if you're not aware of the, the context surrounding Shadow and the fandom at large. There, there is that uh, that episode as well where Sonic gets fucking kidnapped by a fan. Man, I haven't had this exciting of a conversation since discussing both far days. <laughs> God damn it, I'm not gonna ask. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> He's more of an anti-hero. Yeah, he was never a villain. He was he was never a villain. Shadow's just a rival, not a villain, exactly. We just watched that episode last night. Oh, okay, I see. To be fair though, we got one of the best fucking lines out of that show from Shadow in that episode. The one the one saying that your shoddy craftsmanship brings shame to all hedgehog kind. <laughs> because they can't put together a fucking IKEA furniture thing. <laughs> I'm a villain, not a monster. <laughs> oh no. No, but the thing is, again, Shadow was never a villain. I mean, I guess technically you could argue that because he was working with Eggman at the start of, like, Sonic Adventure 2, like, he's kind of a villain, but, like, I don't know. I don't think Shadow was ever portrayed as a villain. He was kind of portrayed as, like, some, some fucking, like... Uh, I mean, I guess he did Dark want to destroy the world, smart, so... But I'll maybe. get one day when you least expect it, Dot Tilda. See, I, see, I got smarts. I've been learning. I've been doing the learnings. You can't trick me now. At least not as easily. <laughs> Antagonist but not a villain, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe that's a bit more accurate. Yeah. 
Yeah, Shadow wasn't a hero for most of Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Like, You are right. He was kind of a villain. He did want to blow up the world. Heard of that, dog? God damn it. <laughs> Shut up. <what? laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. He hated humanity. True, but at the same time, he did have a reason to hate them all. So, you know. You know, he, he had been secluded from humanity and then just humanity comes in and fucking kills his best friend. Lol. Oops. <laughs> but still, you know. I guess you could argue that he was a villain in Sonic Adventure 2, but even then, that's it. That's the only time where Shadow is a fucking villain ever. <laughs> you need to see this weird matter, baby. Like, he, he's not a villain in Sonic Heroes, he's not a villain in, <laughs> in... He's not a villain in Sonic Heroes, he's not a villain in Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, I guess technically, if you do take the Black Doom path in Shadow the Hedgehog, technically he does. He is a villain? Like, I don't, I don't even know what happens in, in the end of that, that storyline, so I have no idea. But, but, like, the point being is, like, I still find it so fucking weird that they tried to portray Shadow as, like, oh, look, he's a villain once again, like, Sonic Forces and, and fucking Sonic Boom. Like, makes no sense. What the fuck? Hero or villain, you decide. <laughs> you're, you're right, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. You're so right. The marketing said it, so... So, th there's that. <laughs> Gotta help mom with something. Good night, Coco. Have a good night. Ah, oh, no worries. Have a good night. Probably gonna, probably gonna call it very soon. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about missing anything. Have a good night, Charbay. Thank you for joining. Shadow can be your angle, or or your devil. True. <laughs> so real. So true. Shadow embodies the fucking early 2000s edge. <laughs> Shadow, will you marry? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the fucking Twitter takeovers are so funny, to be honest. But even then, I don't, I don't like the portrayal of Shadow Mimi in those. Coco, I'ma leave you with a bunch of dances, so enjoy my points. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gerbil. Have a good night. Uh, but yeah. Sonic, Sonic Boom. Really fucking banger show. Banger TV show. It's a, it's a shame that the game was so fucking panned and bad and, and such. Yeah. A shame because I feel like that that universe could have been like could have been its own thing it could have kept going as a like spin-off as a spin-off series what have we learned today folks <laughs> Sonic we have learned that Sonic is forever cursed to have bad games <laughs> uh, but anyways anyways we gotta call it for the night gotta call it for the night boys and girls so i hope you had fun i hope you i hope it was entertaining i hope it was an entertaining stream cartoon network did their best to kill it in the second season yeah for real they they fucking killed that show they really did not give that show a chance <laughs> but anyways have a good night everyone thank you for joining as always very much appreciated hope you all had fun hope you all enjoyed the stream I'll be seeing you around on Friday, all right? So have a good rest of your week. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night, Coco. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Mwah. Love you all. See you around. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>